the lost and found teddy bear. One sunny day, a young girl named Sophie went on a picnic with her family in the local park. The basket was packed with sandwiches, fresh fruits, and delicious pastries. As they laid out the blanket and set up their spot, Sophie made sure to place her favorite teddy bear right next to her. After lunch, Sophie's parents suggested playing some games. They played catch, raced each other, and even had a fun tug of war. Hours passed, and by late afternoon, the family was ready to head home. Once they reached their house, Sophie wanted to show her teddy bear the drawings she made that day. But to her dismay, the teddy bear was nowhere to be found. She searched her room, the living room, and even the kitchen, but her teddy bear was missing. Tears welled up in Sophie's eyes as she realized she might have left her teddy bear at the park. Her parents tried to console her, promising they'd return to the park first thing in the morning. But Sophie had trouble sleeping that night, missing the soft comfort of her teddy bear. The next day, the family rushed to the park. They searched everywhere, retracing their steps from the day before. They looked behind trees, under benches, and even in trash bins. But the teddy bear was nowhere in sight. Just as they were about to lose hope, an elderly man approached them. He held up a teddy bear and asked, Is this what you're looking for? Sophie's face lit up instantly. She ran over and hugged her teddy bear tightly, thanking the kind man profusely. The man explained that he had seen the teddy bear alone and took it home to keep it safe, hoping its owner would return. Sophie and her family thank the man again, expressing their gratitude for his kind gesture. With her teddy bear safely in her arms, Sophie learned the importance of keeping her belongings close. And she also realized that in a world full of unexpected turns, Sometimes kindness from a stranger can turn a sad day into a joyful one. The science fair experiment. Jenna was always curious whether it was wondering why the sky was blue or how birds could fly. Her mind was full of questions. When her school announced a science fair, she knew it was her chance to dive deep into one of her many queries. She thought hard about what she wanted to explore. After days of pondering, she settled on a question that had been bugging her for weeks. Why do plants grow towards the light? Jenna decided to design an experiment to answer that very question. She started by gathering her materials. Four small potted plants, a cardboard box, and a flashlight. She set up the box in a way where light would only enter from one side. Then, she placed one plant in the box, ensuring that it was in complete darkness, except for the beam of light from the flashlight. Every day, Jenna would observe the plant's growth and direction. And, as the days went by, she noticed the plant was slowly bending and growing towards the light. Excitedly, she showed her findings to her family. They were impressed with her dedication and the results of her experiment. Presentation day arrived, and Jenna's booth was buzzing with curious classmates. She explained her findings, demonstrating with the plant she had observed, and used clear charts and diagrams to support her points. Her teacher, Mrs. Anderson, walked over with a smile. Well done. 
Jenna, your experiment was a real success. Jenna beamed. She hadn't just satisfied her own curiosity. She had sparked interest in others too. As the day ended, Jenna felt a sense of achievement. Not only had she discovered the answer to her question, but she had also ignited a passion for science in her peers. Her experiment might have been about plants and light, but for Jenna, it shed light on something even more important, the joy of discovery and sharing knowledge. And as she walked out of school that day, clutching her first place ribbon, she already started thinking about her next big question to explore. A day in the life of a firefighter. Sunrise painted the sky in shades of orange and pink, signaling the start of another day. In a cozy house, a radio chirped to life, breaking the morning silence. The buzzing sound was a wake-up call for Alex. As he shook off sleep, Alex, quickly dressed in his familiar uniform, feeling the weight of responsibility that came with it. Each day was unpredictable, filled with challenges and risks. But Alex was ready. He headed downstairs to the kitchen where his family was already seated. Breakfast was a quiet affair, with everyone understanding the importance of the day ahead. With a quick kiss to his children and a reassuring nod to his wife, Alex left the house, heading to the fire station. The station was already buzzing with activity. Fellow firefighters were checking equipment, ensuring everything was in perfect condition. Alex joined in, inspecting hoses, helmets, and other gear. Mid-morning, the alarm sounded. A call had come in. There was a fire in an old warehouse on the other side of town. Adrenaline pumping, Alex and his team quickly jumped into the fire truck, sirens wailing. As they arrived at the scene, Thick black smoke billowed from the warehouse. The team sprang into action, connecting hoses to hydrants and getting the water flow started. Alex, with his mask on, entered the building alongside two teammates. The heat was intense, but they pushed through, searching for anyone trapped inside. Hours seemed to pass in minutes. The team managed to control the fire, and fortunately, the building had been empty. Exhausted but relieved, they returned to the station. The afternoon was quieter. Alex took the time to train some of the newer recruits, sharing his experiences and teaching them vital skills. As the sun began to set, Alex felt a sense of fulfillment. It had been a challenging day, but he had made a difference. Finally, it was time to head home. As he entered his house, the warm embrace of his family awaited him. They had dinner together, sharing stories and laughter. As he tucked his kids into bed that night, Alex felt grateful. He knew the risks of his job, but he also knew the impact he made every day. And as he drifted off to sleep, he felt ready to face another day, serving his community and making it a safer place for all. The artist's colorful journey, every stroke of the brush was filled with emotion, capturing not just the image but the spirit behind it. Elise, with her palette of vibrant colors, had always found solace in painting. The canvas was her world, where she translated her thoughts, feelings, and dreams. In her small apartment filled with the scent of paint, she would often lose track of time.
working until the early hours of the morning. Painting wasn't just a hobby for her, it was her way of communicating with the world. One day, an invitation arrived in her mailbox. An art gallery in the city was hosting a contest for emerging artists. The winner would get a chance to display their artwork for a month. Elise felt a mix of excitement and anxiety. Could she really stand a chance? Against so many talented artists? However, her friends and family encouraged her to take the leap. She selected three of her best paintings and submitted them. Days turned into weeks as she awaited the results, feeling a whirlwind of emotions. Finally, the day of the announcement arrived. Elise, wearing her favorite blue dress, walked into the gallery. The place buzzed with anticipation. As she looked around, she saw several familiar faces and many unknown ones, all waiting for the same announcement. The gallery owner took the stage and began speaking. He talked about the talent they had seen and how tough the decision had been. And then, the moment of truth. He announced the winner. And to Elisa's astonishment, it was her. Cheers. And applause filled the room as she made her way to the stage, her heart pounding loudly. The gallery owner handed her a bouquet of flowers and congratulated her. Elise was overwhelmed. She thanked everyone and spoke about her passion for painting. The next month was a whirlwind for Elise. Her paintings were on display, and she received an outpouring of appreciation and admiration. People from different parts of the city came to see her artwork. She even sold a few pieces. But more than the sales and the fame, what touched Elise the most were the conversations. People shared how her paintings moved them, made them feel, and even sparked their own creativity. She realized that her art had the power to connect and inspire. The month ended, but the journey had just begun for Elise. With newfound confidence, she continued to paint, making each piece a reflection of her heart and soul. She learned that taking risks could lead to beautiful rewards. And while the journey was filled with ups and downs, in the end, it was the colorful moments that made it all worth it.